Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another C++ example here. Uh, today is just a short, straight up, really important uh, point we're going to be making here. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to have functions which are going to take arrays as parameters. Now we already talked about the vector and how we use the vector, uh, a reference variable of the vector to change things in it. Um, what we need to do is we need to send in a normal array this time into a function and uh, make sure we can change things in there. And the things we need to know is that uh, a an array is actually a pointer. Now we haven't touched on pointers yet, but still, it's a pointer, and that means that any uh, array parameter we make is going to be a pointer, and it's going to actually access the actual array there and uh, change it. So you don't have to do a reference variable for it. So what I'm gonna I'm gonna explain here uh, everything you need to know. Let's make our array. Let's make an integer array, um, int array, and let's make it an, let's see here, let's make our size, our size equals to 10, so remember it has to be constant, so our size, and I'm going to show you another way to initialize your arrays this time, so if you know the size, and you know how many uh, items you have. You know, we could just do this and make a for loop, right? But there's another way if you want to specifically add some stuff in here. But I'm just going to do zeros 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, so this way you can access every little piece of these 10 arrays here and initialize them directly. So we could have anything here. We could have 20, 230, whatever. But we'll have just have zeros. Excuse me. Um, so yeah. Now we want to access this in a function, this. And this is in itself a pointer. If I just wrote like this, int number, this is not a pointer, okay? This is a variable. This is the identifier for the variable, all right? But when you make an array, an array's identifier, this thing, is actually a pointer that points to the first element in the array, okay? So if we were to print just like, see out int R. All right. Let's see. Just like that, what we would get would be the first uh, number in the array. Okay. Oh, no, the address to it. I'm sorry. It's a pointer. So what you have to do, we'll go through this later. We'll go through this later. But if we do that, we get zero. So this is called dereferencing a pointer. Uh, to actually get what is at the array, a pointer only holds addresses. And to get what is at the address, you have to dereference it. But as I said, we'll go through that. But keep that in mind. Why not? You know, why not? It's a good thing to know. So uh, anyway, that proves my point in a way. Um, so we have this. We have this pointer. And then we're going to make a function here. We'll just make it void. Void. Uh, um, set number. Okay. So we're just going to make all these numbers in the array here into random numbers, you just give it a lot of random stuff. Uh, so we're gonna pass in the array here. So we need it, we know we have an integer array. We can give it the same name because of the scope. The scope won't affect this. Okay. And we give it this, these brackets here. So, mm, let's just say, well, let's do that. Okay, so we're gonna get a size of the array and we're getting the uh, pointer to the array. And you can write it like this, or when you learn about pointers, you could pass in the array like that as well. So, whoops. So it's good to know. But yeah, this is this is for passing an array. We don't know the size, so we need to send in the size as well. This is not a vector, this is just a simple array we made, so it doesn't keep track of its own size. We have to do that. Um, so it's sent in. What we do here is we make for loop. Our size. Okay, and we say int r position i equals rand up to 100 plus 1. Okay, then we need a function for printing this, print all, and we do the same thing. We send in the integer array, and we send in the size. Okay, and then we just make a for loop, and we make sure we say size and see out I will print out the index as well why not okay and that line and then we have our two functions which we pass in our array and it's manipulating that array okay so 
since we're gonna call them down here with int r let's see set set number sorry we send an int r and r size okay there we go okay and then we say print all the thing is that having the same name might confuse you but don't be confused you can have the same name for the parameter as the thing you're gonna send in it doesn't affect it because when this comes in it's just gonna take over for this it, this could have been a or something or B but it just feels good to have the same name it doesn't matter uh, so don't worry about that so we send in our int r and the r size and we just run this program see what happens and we got a bunch of random numbers here so what this shows is that we manipulated this array out here in a function in a function and we can manipulate it and we can do stuff now in the future I might as well just say right now that uh, when you wanna actually manipulate the pointer to this like when we make dynamic arrays where you like vectors right then you have to delete the old array make a new bigger one and then copy all the stuff from the old one into the new one to make it seem like it's just expanding right but that's the whole process you have to delete it and make a new one and that's done through pointers so then you have to send this in as a pointer reference you can't just send it in as you know an array here so then you'd have to do that and then you could delete this and stuff but uh, for that you need to stick along a little longer and just uh, uh, go through the tutorials and soon you'll be there and we can make that stuff so uh, yeah thanks for watching I hope this helped in some way learned some new stuff here and uh, yeah I'll see you in the next video thanks